Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing baked chicken taquitos with a verde sauce, also known as a tomatillo sauce or a green sauce. It's really bright, vibrant, really fresh, it's healthy, and a taquito is usually fried. We're baking them, so we're just we're doing a lot of good and healthy stuff here. And what's fun about this dish is when it comes time to eat dinner and you guys just don't want to mess with it, this is one of those great dishes you can just pull out of the refrigerator, pop in the oven for 10 minutes, put the sauce on it, and you have dinner. So here we go. We're going to start with the chicken. I went with the rotisserie chicken. You can get those at most grocery stores nowadays, about seven bucks, almost the cost of a whole chicken. And you didn't have to roast it, but if you're like me, you like roasting your own, which I usually do, I've got a link below for the perfect roast chicken, and I promise you it is the perfect roast chicken. So we are gonna cut up a red bell pepper. I'm gonna show you guys how to do what's called a brenoise, which is a French term for a very even cut that's square. So everything is of the same size and equals good mouthfeel. We want everything to cook the same and, and feel the same as we're eating it. So here we go. We're gonna start off with long strip cuts, which is called a julienne. And then we're gonna give it a quarter turn and we're gonna go through it. And this is gonna get everything a nice even size and known as the benoise, which is like said a French term. So that's a cool knife skill right there. So we got that in the bowl. So that we're gonna add some sweet corn and we're gonna put some black beans we just rinse those off under water. Some nice long slices of onion and some cilantro. We've got some very classic Mexican flavors here and they all play really nice together and there's beautiful color, which is great. We do eat with our eyes. A little salt, salt brings out flavor. We like salt. Black pepper, you could use a little cayenne if you wanna go there or even smoked paprika. Here's some cohia cheese, which is like a Mexican Parmesan cheese. Use whatever your favorite cheese is. The cheesier the better, right? So let's fill these guys up. So often it's about don't overfill. In this case, fill it as much as you can. <laughs> you know, this is definitely one of those dishes. A fried taquito often looks like a long cigar and it just doesn't have enough filling in it. So it's one of those great chances to fill her up. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a, a toothpick here to secure it closed. If you don't have toothpicks, you could just turn it upside down on itself so that the seam is on the bottom. So where this becomes a make ahead is once this is filled here, you could just put some plastic wrap on top of it, put it in the refrigerator until you're ready, and then we're gonna bank it off for 10 minutes at 425, and that's it. We're gonna put a little sauce on it and call it a day. Okay, let's make the sauce. We're gonna start off by adding some tomatillos to a blender, and we're gonna add in one poblano, and then we're gonna add in some green apple. The tomatillo has a bit of a bitter and sweet flavor, and you could say the same about a green apple, but they don't taste the same. So what we're doing by adding a bit of green apple is we're creating a, a, a deeper depth of flavor, which is really great. So we added some cilantro. The cream corn is a bit of sweetness, and that's gonna round out that little bit of bitterness that we get from the apple and the tomatillo. It's the secret ingredient for the sauce. It's really good, I hope you guys try it that way. So we're gonna blend everybody together here, and we've got ourselves a tomatillo verde or green sauce, however you like to call it. So let's plate up. Something really interesting about plating, and that we do this in the restaurants, is we plate in, the, in threes or odds, is really what we're doing. Um, the human is, eye is looking for even numbers and even things, and things are very symmetrical and whatnot. So when you plate in odds, it makes things look better on the plate. It's really cool, it's a chef trick, learned that in culinary school, and it holds true in the restaurant. So finishing with a little bit of tomato there, koya cheese, and final touch is a little bit of cilantro just to wake everything up and is a very classic finishing herb for Mexican to Spanish food. So here we go guys, hope you enjoy. Come join us on social media, we'd love to have you guys. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Remember that there's a printable recipe card on the website and you guys have a great one, take care.